click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the Howarth projection formula and now in this topic we are going to talk about how we can convert the Fisher projection formula of glucose to Howarth projection formula. So this is what I am going to talk about. So now let's get started. So friends, in this topic, I'm going to talk about that is how we can convert that is Fisher projection formula of glucose into Howarth projection formula. So for that, let us understand that is what is the Fisher projection formula for glucose and that is what we have discussed earlier also. That is, it consists of that is CHO, CH2OH and in between there are four carbon atoms and that is what I am mentioning over here. So this is OH, this is OH, this is H over here, this is OH. Opposite to that, we have to write this following atoms and this is nothing but it is d-glucose but this d-glucose can also be written in the following structure and the following structure is nothing but so here basically we could get the first carbon atom this is first carbon atom second third fourth fifth and sixth so therefore the structure that is what we could write it over here is it could be starting with the first one that is c h double bond o talking about the second carbon atom so in this case this is the carbon atom and here basically we can find that is the OH on the right hand side. So therefore we could write OH here and H over here. So talking about the next one that is this carbon atom. Here basically we can find that is the carbon is associated with H as well as OH. So but the H is present on the right hand side. So we'll write it H over here and OH on this side. So talking about the next carbon atom. So this is the carbon atom where we can find that is the OH is on the right hand side and H is on the left hand side. So therefore the OH it will be written down and H will be written down. So talking about the other carbon atom, so here basically we can find the carbon atom where it has basically OH group associated with it. So I'm writing it over here as well as hydrogen atom that is associated with it. So I'm writing over here. Actually here there should be OH but let me write it in this way. And this is nothing but CH2OH. So this is carbon number 1, carbon number 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So based on that we could write the cyclic form that is the Howarth projection formula for the glucose so in that case suppose what if we do that is if we try to rotate this carbon atom in that case we will get that is CH2OH here the OH over here and the H over here so in that case suppose if this projection or this structure of the glucose is suppose if it is treated with H plus I so in that case this oxygen which is highly negative charge and we understand that is this is basically the carbonyl so this is basically the carbonyl group and that's the reason that the H plus it will be associated to this one and the product that is what we could get is so we could get the product as this one that is C double bond O H with here as NH so therefore this will be positive charge oxygen atom and talking about the rest of the thing that is it will be the same like the previous structure so therefore here there will be OH here there will be H. So talking about the next carbon atom, here there will be H, here there will be OH. So talking about the next carbon atom, so here there will be OH, here there will be H. So this carbon, it will consist of CH2OH, H over here and this is nothing but OH. So this is how basically we can write. And we also understand that is the oxygen consists of the lone pair of electrons. So in that case, basically what happens is, there will be a formation of a cyclic ring and that is how basically I am going to talk about. So here basically it will try to, because here also there is a lone pair of electrons, so therefore it will try to donate the lone pair of electron to this carbon atom and that is how basically this bond electron, it will be transferred to this oxygen atom and that is how basically we could get a possible structure and that possible structure is the elimination of H plus ion because this is how basically we have introduced H plus ion and this is how basically this hydrogen atom it will lose in the form of H plus ion and the following structures are the possibilities so therefore we could get that is this is basically known as epimer and we could get the position of OH either down or the position of OH either up so we could give the name to those cyclic glucopyranos as alpha or beta so the structures are that is one of the structure that is I'm going to talk about is this one where I could find that is the epimer carbon atom has the OH atom downwards and the H upwards and this is basically the presence of the oxygen atom while the rest of it would be as it is that is this it will be H OH here there will be H here there will be H here it will be OH this is OH H CH2 OH and this is H 
so this is nothing but one of the structure and talking about the other structure so therefore we have that is the same structure as it is in represented over here only the difference that is what we could get is to this carbon atom which is nothing but the epimer carbon atom here we can find that is the OH on the upside and H on the downward side so here also there is OH H so everything it is very much similar to that of the previous one the only difference is the configuration of the OH on the epimer carbon atom and here we could get the other products also that is CH2OH and H so talking about the name of this two that is forms of that is Howarth projection formula for the glucose so in this case the OH is present downward side that is this epimer OH is present on the downward side so therefore we could name this as alpha D glucopyranose while this one could be given the name as beta D glucopyranose And that's it so this is how basically we can convert the fisher projection formula for glucose into the howard projection formula for glucose thank you friends for watching this video i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much